The following program is classified G. It's suitable for all ages. Sri Lanka has businesses that were developed from scratch and developed to make a fortune. While many Sri Lankans are mired in mediocrity, stuck in their limiting beliefs, these individuals have shown remarkable success. What are their secrets? Can you learn them? The answer is yes. Every successful business leader has mastered at least a few areas that can be learned and adopted into your success. It's been said, success leaves clues. Welcome to the Blueprint. Sri Lanka's first TV show about business breakthrough. I'm Ramindu Randit. I coach corporate leaders and business owners to break through their plateaus. In each episode, I'll be sharing influential insights to transform your business to the next level. If you follow through, we're going to have an amazing journey together. Let's begin. So welcome back to a brand new episode. In this episode, my emphasis is to develop certainty as a business leader. This is absolutely essential if you want to become an elite business leader. So let's begin. Now certainty is a fundamental need for humans. For instance, I should know that this roof is not going to collapse while I'm talking. If it is uncertain, I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to get away. Similarly, when uncertainty creeps into your head as business leaders, all it cares about is taking you away from that danger. Because with the moment you are uncertain about something, instantly fear starts creeps into your system. In that state, if you want to sit down and make a strategic decision to develop your business, you are actually far from it. Because your entire system is focusing on how to get away from this danger and escape your route. So this happens because of our primitive thinking. It's coming from a very long time. The brain that we use, you and I, is not 20, 30, 40, whatever the age you are. It's not that. It's actually two million years old. So vast majority of the time, humans were living in forest among animals, running away from danger. There were animals such as saber-toothed tigers and big massive pythons were hunting humans for millions of years. So in that time, we didn't have knowledge or depth to understand circumstances to make decisions. All we did was running away. So our entire system is hard-coded to recognize fear and ignite some energy so we can use that to run away. Now, scientific research said we have discovered agriculture about some 10 to 12,000 years ago. Now, if you compare that 12,000 years versus 2 million years, guess what? Overpower. Our uncivilized traits way overpower us in any given second. And science also said that we have 32 trillion neurochemical reactions occurs in our body. So the moment you panic, the brain still thinks, okay, this is some danger, so I need to save this person because we've been mastering the art of survival for so many millions of years. So all that brain focuses is to keep you alive. So in these circumstances, that if you want to be an elite leader, you have to develop and condition yourself manually to create certainty within yourself. Now you should understand this uncertainty and fear is almost natural and instant. So you have to lead yourself first to develop certainty. It's not going to come from the external environment. So the question is, how do we develop certainty? We're going to explain that in a minute, soon after this break. Stay right there. This is probably the first time that a TV show explains this. So stay right there. We're going to be right back. Welcome back. Now, before I share you how to develop certainty, it is extremely important that I share this perspective about Sri Lanka with you. Now look at this country. For four decades, we've been going from adversity to adversity. 1983, we had this ugly incident which turned into a civil war and lasted for 26 years. 
In 1991, we lost our executive president. The country needs a leader. In 2004, tsunami devastation, which took thousands of lives overnight. And when that happens, every time, even the most experienced people would say, Sri Lanka will never recover. There's no turning back for us. It's because of our primitive thinking. It's nothing to do with your experience, your knowledge, your, your age. But guess what happened? We struggled for our ashes. We went forward from strength to strength. The very country that was abandoned for tourism in 2004, six years later, was named as number one destination for tourism. So we as Sri Lankans should adopt a different language instead of saying why now or not now when that adversity happens, adopt the language and say, bring it on. This should be our motto in every leadership. Now, how do we develop certainty? Now, as you might have learned, fear and uncertainty is almost instant. So for you to develop certainty, you have to lead yourself. We lead ourselves by asking a set of right questions. If you ask the right questions, you can develop certainty within yourself. Now, here's what you can do. When you feel uncertain, when you panic, ask yourself, am I thinking something that feeds uncertainty or certainty? Your brain will give an answer. And then, if the answer is yes, what I'm thinking right now is actually feeds uncertainty, then ask yourself another question. In that case, what can I do or what can I think to develop certainty within me? Immediately, your brain is gonna shift into a different direction and will show you several options. Now, the most important thing is to act upon that immediately. So whatever the tool or the strategy that is clear in your sight, take action to create momentum. And this momentum is the power. Then you need to act upon the things that you can see right before your sight. Whatever you can see, whatever you, you can do within your control, take action to create momentum. Remember, momentum is power. If you keep taking action, it feeds confidence in you. Inaction open rooms to fear to creep into yourself. So take action, create momentum, and that will overpower any fear or any uncertainty within yourself. Now, if you cultivate the habit of developing certainty within yourself, you'd be surprised to see the opportunities that you come to see when you want to develop a strategy. Now, this friction of adversity always opens up grand opportunities for elite leaders to capitalize on. One of my best case studies is the case study of the LINE app. This LINE app is similar to our WhatsApp. When I was in Japan, nobody uses WhatsApp. They all use LINE app. This app was a disaster response from South Korea to Japan during the 2011 tsunami. So during that devastation in 2011, Japan's main telecommunication towers were heavily damaged. During that time, South Korea developed this app so people could communicate via web. Now, a few months later, Japan bounced back as usual, and this app went from strength to strength. Two years fast forward, this app had 200 million users. And a few years ago, when I was in Japan, the Line app has diversified into a fully-fledged business where you could order taxis, you could do online shopping, you could even use that app to make payments. Now this is a classic example where a friction of adversity has always an opportunity for the person who has developed certainty within himself.